Thank you, uh, Secretary General. Thank you very much for the warm welcome back to my second home. Uh, it is an important meeting, as you point out, and I think we're here, as you all know, to chart the course of the alliance in the future. Uh, the events of 2014 were sobering, and we must continue to adapt to what's being revealed to us in terms of our security challenges. The alliance remains a fundamental bedrock uh, for the United States and for all the transatlantic community, bonded as we are together. As President Trump has stated, he has strong support for NATO. And NATO is in the midst of transformation. It has always been adapting to the security challenges. This is nothing new. Perhaps the pace of change has certainly picked up a bit, but this is something that we can deal with. And it's absolutely uh, appropriate as a European Minister of Defense said last week, it's a fair demand that all who benefit from the best defense in the world carry their proportionate share of the necessary cost to defend freedom. And we should never forget, it. ultimately, it is freedom that we defend here at NATO. And I do have confidence that we will prove once again that we can react to the changing circumstances. We've done so in the past. There's every reason for confidence that we will move out purposefully together once again. I am here to listen to my fellow ministers, to have an open conversation among friends and allies about where we're going and our shared level of commitment. Thank you, Secretary General Stoltenberg. Thank you so much. Welcome. Thank you very much.